I'm Connie Huck and I'm a Purple for Polio ambassador and we are in hopefully the last leg of the End Polio Now campaign. We're here at the Olympic Park planting 50,000 crocus corns. Now those will grow into these beautiful purple flowers which symbolise the purple pinky. Whenever an immunisation is done in any country, um, it's important to make sure that no child goes unimmunized. And so to symbolize the fact that a child has had the immunization, we usually paint their little finger purple. So we symbolize that with the purple crocus. And hopefully this bank of grass behind me will have 50,000 beautiful purple crocuses, um, which will symbolize this historic moment that we're on the brink of. This is a cause really close to my heart. I've been out to India and I've taken part in an immunisation day and seen the dedication that it takes. It's a really big job. A country such as India has a massive population, you know, over a billion people. And to think you have to make sure that everybody is polio free. And we're talking about remote areas, sometimes villages, places that are hard to get to. A memory that really stands out is this community that were living on a rubbish tip essentially because in in countries like India rubbish is actually a valuable commodity if someone throws out a bag that's still usable or clothes these are things that people can sift through and find valuable items and so that's why there were people literally living and eating in kitchen areas that were next to toilet areas and it's conditions like that that mean that it's really, really difficult to get rid of the virus. And if we've managed to get rid of it in a country with over a billion people in population and so many young children, the thing about polio is that it strikes young children um, and it can be a killer or it can cripple people for life. And the fact that we got rid of it there was it's almost like a message that we can do this globally now. We are on the verge of an historic moment. The End Polio campaign has been going for over 30 years and there's only a handful of cases left. So please donate generously to Rotary International so we can end polio now.